We start with a point. Hi, Rob Bryant, and back with you once again. And uh, looking at uh, over this shoulder here is uh, a slide from my video, Everything Fits Together 2020. And uh, so this time I'm going to try jamming along with the Cozy Chimes over top of the percussion track from that song. And uh, while we're looking over my shoulder, we got our faithful dog uh, buddy back uh, from way up above me. And uh, also uh, looking over my shoulder here, Fonzie and Potsy and uh, Gus the Rescue Dog, my grand puppies. So uh, it's always nice to have dogs looking out for you from uh, the great beyond. Uh, Fonzie and Potsy are still with us, of course, but uh, those other guys are still looking down too, I like to think. So this time, let's talk about the circumpunct and uh, how that relates to dimensional thinking. If you're going to start with a point and then uh, go to whatever the largest possible representation of that point is. It's a point of indeterminate size. So whatever value you choose to say is the largest value, it could be infinite, uh, will be the that representation. So a circumpunct is just a dot in the middle and then a circle on the outside. And uh, that gives us a way to think about how you could move from a dot to a universe that is made out of gravity. But to get to electromagnetism and all the other stuff, you're going to have to add some rotation. The circumpunct, or circled dot, is an ancient symbol. Over the millennia, humans have used it to represent the universe, God, the monad, enlightenment, the sun, gold, and much more. In Kabbalah, it can represent the topmost position in the tree of life, in physics, it can represent a vector facing out of the page. Manly P. Hall was recognized as one of the leading esoteric scholars of the 20th century. In his book, Lectures on Ancient Philosophy, he said this, The most primitive and fundamental of all symbols is the dot. The dot, moving away from self, projects the line. The line becomes the radius of an imaginary circle and this circle is the circumference of the powers of that central dot. Somewhere there is a limit to the scope of awareness. The circle is the symbol of this limit. It is the symbol of the vanishing point of central energy. The dot symbolizes the cause, the line, the means, and the circle, the end. As I've often remarked, many of the pioneers of quantum physics reached the conclusion that consciousness is fundamental. Thinking of consciousness as the dot at the center and the surrounding circle as the universal wave function we are all observing aligns nicely with many of this symbol's other interpretations. And overlaying it on Pablo Badassi's image of a logarithmic radial rendering of the observable universe with now at the center gives us another way to appreciate the unique usefulness of this symbol, the circled dot or circumpunct. Let's try the percussion track now and see how it goes with Everything Fits Together.
Upset.